part 2 of my reaction to Hololive members Battle it out at the end of season 1 in Rust by Mechanico Fan Translations. Uh, last time, you know, Picora and her gang, well, her and Suse fought. And I assume now we're going to get like Polka's um, experience during the battle. I guess while the others were fighting, what did Polka do? And I'm recording this at 5 in the morning, so we'll see how my commentary is. Okay, Matsuri. It wasn't she part of the fighting? So maybe this isn't set during, maybe it's set after. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of like, uh, just staying in this base is boring, let's go out. Okay, is that the base where Pekora fought the helicopter? That's what it looks like. God, I wish you could put the... Yeah, what it's called. The subtitles in a better spot. Maybe you should do it during night. You know, to make it harder for Picara. Because basically Picara won v4, I think. In part one. Was that a trap? Okay, no, it was... Uh, Fubiki. Just putting on some pressure with some shots to scare people. And it seems like you also have no HP left. So. <coughs> oh, okay, she has night vision goggles. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, because I'll turn off your flashlight. Okay, no, that wasn't flashlight, okay. I thought she had night vision goggles and a flashlight on, that's why it was that humongous bright spot. Okay, I guess they heard them say horses. <coughs> oh, they heard Suse say, say that. Oh god, careful Suse. Okay. All right, you got pinged once. But still, you, oh, uh, then, oh, but Miko, oh, yeah, she only has a sniper rifle, so it's gonna be very tough for her. <coughs> and then for Picora, it should, oh, <laughs> maybe throw your rock. <laughs> Koyari is <laughs> still like, wait, what happened? Okay, yeah, so Matsuri was part of the first wave, so this is set after, which is pretty obvious because, I mean, we saw them escape with the horses, but just to go back to my point. <sighs> but I guess you could just, you know, raid the base now, pretty safely, maybe get some, you know, some loot.
どうしましょうで別コード<咳>別コードをしてるのですかねしてます、ね、So is Picora going to shoot the missile at her own base maybe? Because he's like oh, I know they're at my base Shoot those rockets Well, it should be relatively safe. Unless there's like a third team that they haven't shown yet. <sighs> when I see Picora, Polka's Kazoo, I always think it's like a beard, like a very thin, you know, beard. Oh god, you're gonna shoot Polka? <laughs> I mean, with enough time, it should work. <laughs> like, oh, you and your rock. Okay, I also thought maybe you could go through the gap. And I think Picard and Suzy probably thought that as well. That's why they put that trap. Uh, that bear trap right there. Oh shit. Are these the NPCs she talked about? Yeah, they must be NPCs. Okay, it seems like Unless you go to the airbase Or maybe they'll hear some gunshots and be like, wait What's happening? I shall go back to my house and see. Oh god. Yeah, this is really like the calm before the storm, I guess. Before the final assault. Okay, what are you talking about? Okay, so Polka had died already. <laughs> okay, goodbye, <Quinn. laughs> Oh God, I wonder what Koyori's uh, reaction was. Oh man, it would be very fun to hear Koyo scream as <laughs> she got destroyed. Oh, so she actually accidentally found them. And is she gonna go run back and be like, they're at the airbase? Come on. 
ケー電話取られちゃったからチャット打つねオッケーオッケーオッケーオッケーオッケーペコラ待ってっからそれまでペコスイじゃねあれペコスイじゃないほらじゃあ I found them <笑>今私がいるミリタリーベースね。Now you guys should rush them. これら持ってくよーミサイル使ってくる可能性あるな。Because now they don't know you know where they are, so you can get, you know, the jump on them. Oh no, p i c a r a s a w Okay, no, Picola managed to see. <coughs> Hopefully, Anya is keeping a watch on them as they run away. I saw them inside the abandoned military. Oh no, she ran away. That's all. Ah. I don't know if they're still inside or not. Anya. <laughs> Bad scout work. I guess she was like, hey, you know what? I want to keep my horse safe. I don't want my horse to die. But like, yes, you can steal their horses, maybe. Because, I mean, they're no longer on their horses. Well, you're also, you're also gonna get killed by something. <laughs> Maybe you should heal. Polka. Alright. Okay, I guess they're doing, you know, like a suicide so they can, you know, teleport back to their base. Oh no, and they're gonna find Pekora. <laughs> Not Pekora, why do I keep saying Pekora when I meant to say Polka? <laughs> and they're like, let's kill her. And they're already gone. But they had a psychopathic advantage, you know, with Suisei and Pekora. Alright, it's been around 14 minutes. Um, let's see, is there. I'll wait until 30 and then I'll stop. <laughs> so at least I know, kind of like, okay. So this is gonna be put into three parts. Because I kind of want to end it before we get like the last confrontation that I'm guessing they're building up towards. So this part was very, very just, you know, not a lot happening. And then, oh, hello you. So, like, I'll never tell. <laughs> so, don't tell them, Polka. 
You don't want him to plug the gaps. Uh, maybe not one shot, but many. Oh god, you don't want to go out there with the rocket launcher. Not the grenade launcher. Alright, so Polka joined their team in the at the end. Alright, I'm gonna end this right here. Uh, because it seems like, you know, after this we're gonna get a lot of, you know, fighting. Um, and I'm gonna put that into another video when I am a bit more, you know, like, my energy levels are a bit higher. Maybe later on today. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.